Okay, our third speaker is Simon Dahm. He's uh, linked to the Sport Green Investor Button, our Reno Federation here. He also is connected with Visit Umeå. Simon, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, I uh, told my girlfriend last night that I'm a little bit nervous about this presentation. It's been a while since I held a presentation in English, uh, and there's quite some big names on the list of speakers. And she tried to comfort me, and she told me, Simon, you don't need to worry about that. You're not a big deal in this conference. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you screw up, they don't remember you when they leave. <laughs> so, and I <coughs> partly agree to what she said, because I don't think I'm a big deal here, but I think that Sport Region Vesterbotten is a big deal. And I think that collaborative partnerships and functional partnerships is a big deal. Um, and I'm going to talk about this new project, Sport Region Vesterbotten, where we will try to use sports uh, to create growth within different sectors of the society, within the sports sector, within the public sector, uh, the business sector, and the academic sector. And I think collaborative partnerships is a key and a necessity to succeed. Um, I'm working today as the event manager of Visit Umeå, a destination company, which is based on collaboration with the, within different sectors. It's, it's, uh, it's the foundation of our company. It's really important. So for us to succeed, we need partnerships. And sports is one of the key areas for us to succeed. Vesterbotten is a strong sports region. And I also put in a slide. I have a sports career as a beach volleyball player. I played professionally for about 10 years. Uh, represented Sweden in two Olympic Games in Sydney, where I basically were watching opponents beat us pretty bad. And in Athens, I got my revenge. Um, but these are my highlights. But I would say that the most important experience from my sports career is not these highlights. It's uh, teamwork. It's the partnership with my uh, partner, Bjorn. We were only a two-man team. Tried to travel, live, practice, compete together for 10 years with the same person. Not because you're best friends, because you think you're a good team together. It, you have to create good partnership, functional partnerships, and you need to collaborate with a lot of different parties. Vesterbotten is quite a large region in, in the northern parts of Sweden. Um, 15 municipalities, we have two cities, Umeå and Kollektio. 70% of all sports business is located in Umeå and Kollektio which makes it important for us to see the big picture for Vesterbotten, not just our cities. 260,000 in the population in this area, which means in such a big area, we're not very crowded. But there are some numbers that are remarkable about Vesterbotten. And I would say that 700 sports clubs in this area is a very good number. We have 110,000 members in these, in these sports clubs. They are not all athletes, but they are involved in these clubs. They have paid a membership fee to be involved in these clubs. And this is out of a population of 260,000 people. We think we have a good base, a, a good foundation beneath our feet to build on and use sports as a driving force to create growth between these different sectors, public sector, the sports sector, um, the academic sector, the business sector, that we need to collaborate. <coughs> Four years ago, in 2009, um, Lena Sandin, who at the time was the head manager at the Center for Sports Science, she took the initiative and wanted to create more collaboration between different parties. Um, she was looking at some good examples in other parts of Sweden. And in 2011, two years later, 
there was a gathering that was organized by the West Bothan Sports Federation at this place, Bag Berlin, Bag Berlin Mansion. Um, people from different sectors came to this gathering. The expectations were that there would be discussions how to use sports as a driving force. The result of this meeting was handshakes, basically handshakes. People met and they didn't know each other from before, even though all people here had something to do with sports within their different sectors. They were not working across the borders as much as they could be. But it was a very good start for Sport Region Vestibota. Sport Region Vestibota is a project that wants to develop the region make it dynamic and competence driven. <coughs> For people, organizations, investments, all parties who want to grow and develop through sports from the different sectors. The purpose is to strengthen the life quality, the environment, sustainability, uh, and the attraction of the region. These are all important matters for West Bolton. And, and Sport Region West Bolton is a project that will work towards these different points. How it, sh how it shall be done is to create a network to organize these people, these representatives from the different sectors, to gather and meet and start to discuss. Set up meetings. It's actually when people meet when ideas start to grow and when things start to happen. The project organization will work out a strategic long-term model of how to develop the competence, the activities and the business within the sports sector. And every year there will be a forum where it's possible to highlight and reward people of different sorts, organizations, clubs, athletes, even the people selling coffee at every home game that has been doing that for 10 years. They also need some kind of reward. This kind of forum will be made through the Sport Region Festival. I will give you two quick examples of, I would say, good examples of collaborative partnerships. The Swedish Championship Week. And it's a concept where you put together different sports and they decide their Swedish champions during the same week in the same city. It happens two times a year, once during winter for winter sports and once during summer. Next year in January, third week of January next year, we are hosting the Swedish Championship Week in Umeå for winter sports. This is an event which is great for us to host next year in collaboration with European Capital of Culture next year, together with the public sector, together with the business sector, together with the destination company, and the sports sector and the academic sector. I think this is a great example of a collaboration that I don't think would be possible without the collaboration. Another example on a different level, the Swedish Beach Tour runs through Sweden every year. And here in Umeå, it is used to attract people to the downtown of Umeå. It's, it's an event that the business association of downtown Umeå are using to attract more people downtown. A collaboration between the sports sector and the business sector. It has been for more than 10 years, downtown in Umeå, and is now, I would say, a tradition of Umeå. And as you will see if you, if you visit Ixu later today, you will see they have this indoor beach facility, which also is a huge part of the strong beach football tradition here. The vision is based on knowledge, innovation, and collaborative partnerships. This is what Sport Region West Bottom will work on to create an attractive region. I am no big deal, <laughs> but I think that collaborative partnerships really is a big deal. And remember, it's actually up to you here in this room to create those partnerships. 
with the people, with the person sitting next to you on the plane back home or when you get back home. The initiative came from the academic world for us to create this. But it could come from the sports sector, it could come from the business sector. It's actually, it's actually up to any one of us to create this.